Give me maybe first your thoughts on the matchup, and then you pick here first. I'll pick the second game first. All right. So, like I said, it's a great story with the Lions, sure. right, and the 49ers. Um, and uh, what's it called? Um, the 49ers, uh, on, on the Lions side, right, like, they're riding high, sure. right? Uh, I think one of the things to worry about on the Lions side is, are they happy, right? Are they, you know, super excited to be there? Is everyone patting them on the back? Um, and they're going to show up in a way that, um, y- you know, they fall short. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case, right? Okay. I think Dan Campbell's going to have them prepared, right? I think um, they all have a chip on their shoulder, you know, um, Gibbs. Uh, not Gibbs, uh, but uh, Jared Goff was a throwaway from L.A. Uh, they made fun of the Lions' ownership for drafting a running back and a linebacker in the first round. Sure. Um, they were making fun of Dan Campbell, talking about biting kneecaps, right? Yeah. You know, is he smart enough to be a, a, a head coach? Is he just a rah-rah so guy? He's the biggest um, words. Right? Yeah. But all of a sudden, he can build a culture. His he team, can. he believes in his men, and his men trust him, sure. right, to help take him to the promised land. So that's that leadership, as well as that ownership Let's give him credit. There was there were times that they could have got rid of him. And if I'm not mistaken, um, that Detroit Lions team in, in in the last like year and a half or something are, is like 21 and seven, right? Like sure. they have an incredible record right now. Um, now the 49ers, there's some concerns, right? Like sure. like I said, Brock Purdy didn't play amazing throughout the game. He just showed up at uh, in the last drive, right, to sort of start to change the narrative or their legacy his legacy right can he you know bring them back and and that's something he was able to do something jimmy was never able to do sure um do we know a weather report on this game too by the way because that could impact my decision yeah we'll get get, get a little weather i I think it's supposed to be sunny but um listen my biggest concern in that game right is deep Right. If Debo sure. doesn't show up and play that game, I don't think that 49ers offense is the same. Again, I struggle with the 49ers because when Debo is out, they don't get George Kittle the ball enough. Sure. Right. I think um, they focus too much on Ayuk. Right. And obviously you can't focus too much on uh, CMC. Sure. But I think they're they're missing out on an opportunity to get uh, um, George Kittle the ball more. So the question is, who do you trust more in this game? Right. Do you trust Kyle Shanahan that has Super Bowl experience? Um, or do you trust Dan Campbell, right, this motivator, right? Um, there's a lot of trust. There's a lot of loyalty in that team. Where are you on that? Man, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat with you in terms of my concern with the 49ers. They really couldn't get a pass rush going against Green Bay this last game. Uh, that's been one of the focal points of why their defense has been so good. Uh, so we're getting the forecast, too, as well. It's supposed to be sunny, no rain. Uh, okay. which is definitely good for Brock Purdy. This game, to me, from a talent perspective, I think both teams obviously are immensely talented. I think that the the Detroit has the edge at quarterback. I do think Goff is the better of the two quarterbacks. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, just on experience alone, what he's done in multiple spots now. Yeah. Okay, This is now his second uh, conference championship game. Okay, uh, He's been to a Super Bowl too as well. So that matters. On the flip side... He used to be a Rams quarterback for a long time, and the 49ers used to really have his number. And the one thing I'll say about Goff is, as good as he is, he's a very stationary quarterback, which I think the 49ers, that bodes well for them. This game, to me, again, kind of comes down to, if the Lions can shut down the run, which I think they have the capability of, of doing, without Debo, can the 49ers go and make enough plays on definitely a banged up and questionable secondary in Detroit? Okay. And then on the flip side, can San Francisco contain all the weapons of Detroit? Okay. And make it a game where Goff has to stand in there very still and put him under duress. Uh, I'm torn. I really am torn back and forth. But, uh, did you give a cut? Did you give a pick? I did not. I you did, did not, not give a so, pick. So I'll ping right, it back to you. Yeah, you bring it back to me. Yeah. So listen, you know, my Super Bowl pick was it, the Ravens and the 49ers. Ravens and the 49ers. Sure. Is looking pretty damn good right now. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you got to go honest. with your prediction that you Not started at the beginning of the season. Not necessarily, oh, okay. right? You know, okay. You know, sometimes you just want to go with your heart, right? And my, and my heart says Detroit's going to win, right? And, sure. and, you know, want to see them in the Super Bowl. And it's a great story. Um, but you know what? Sometimes, you know, I think. Uh, 
you know, you go through a big scare, you go through some challenges, right? And like I said, Brock Purdy played like trash, yeah. showed up in the big moment. I think he got the playoff experience he needed live. And so I'm sticking with the 49ers. You know what's so funny? I feel like you just read my mind because when I was going to come back and make my pick, the thing I was going to say was, I'm going to give the San Francisco 49ers their mulligan based on what I've seen the majority of the season. Sometimes that bye week, look at the way Baltimore came out in that first half. They were a little bit slow, shaky. They couldn't quite get into the rhythm they wanted to. They didn't know what they wanted on offense. Second half, they figured out a way. Now, another component of that is maybe San Francisco had a little bit of the same thing, combined with we all, and you and I admitted this after the Cowboys game, we really underestimated how dangerous the Green Bay Packers were. Yeah. So I more or less am inclined to agree with you. I think San Francisco gets it right this week. Detroit, it's a heck of a season. You're going to be back. You're young, but I like the 49ers. Here's my biggest concern. Out in this game. Uh, the 49ers could not stop the run game of the Green Bay Packers. Sure. Detroit's got a heck of a run game. Significantly yep. better running game, and they are extremely committed to their run game. Um, but they won't be as afraid, I feel like, of that play-action action where a quarterback could go and scramble and hurt them, too, as well. Because Love has that here's aspect the, to his game. Here, uh, but that, that that offensive line can also block, too. Uh, it can. Listen, the ball the best is going to be in, in Jared Goff's hands. That secondary of the 49ers is not great. So if that uh, – the reason why the, the lines are in my heart, if that offensive line neutralizes that defensive line, the lines are going to win the game with their running ability. Uh, game over. Okay. Right? But – I think Brock Purdy is going to step up. I think Debo is going to show up to that game. He might be a little, you know, drugged up, medication up, and uh, he's going to feel no pain. Whatever it takes. Um, whatever right? it little, takes. Little, uh, I think they call even it, if he uh, just comes out in the tunnel, like the team was even saying I, that matters from I, an energy I think perspective. You even using him as a decoy. I yeah. think if they smarten up, they use him as a decoy, and uh, they're going to have to account for him and then, you know, uh, uh, you know, use everyone else. That's what I would do, but... Um, I am going to, like you said, give them their mulligan, and I'm going to pick. My, I'm going to stick with my Super Bowl pick with the 49ers. Okay, so you're going to go with the 49ers. All right, so we're both on the 49ers. We're okay, the we're 49 going to go. We think they got their mulligan. Let's go to the other side now. Let's do Cause, it, because listen. And it's not like I'm not looking forward to 49ers Lions game. These games are all must watch. I think that's going to be. But this is the game. Right here. Game. This is the game because Lamar I'll tell Jackson, you, yeah, Lamar Patrick Jackson, Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. We just I mean. had Mahomes and Allen, and we saw yeah. how that ended. Yep. This now is, this is Rocky. This is Rocky and Apollo. Yep. I mean, this is whatever rivalry you can think of. Uh, this is it right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Um, breakdown of the game. So if I'm looking at both teams from a from a season wide perspective all year, I think there's no question that the Baltimore Ravens have been the more impressive and dominant team over the course. I mean, you look at all the good teams that they played for the most part, with the exception of in their division, obviously, divisional games are weird. Dominated the 49ers. Dominated the Lions. Dominated the Dolphins. Three playoff teams, okay? That defense is ferocious. It's fast. It flies all over the place. Okay? Package that with this is Lamar Jackson's best group of weapons he's ever, ever had around him, okay? The Ravens, to me, are the most complete team. But those dang Kansas City Chiefs, man. Those dang Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, you just, I bet against them one time all year. And, of course, it got me burnt last week, all right? To be the man, you got to go and beat the man, all right? And Kansas City is the man right now. You know, even if it's not in KC, it goes through the Chiefs mm -hmm. to determine whether you're going to be a Super Bowl team. Um, I think the game is going to be phenomenal. I think it's going to be a back-and-forth type game shootout. I think you're going to see the best out of both two quarterbacks. Uh, I'll save my pick, give you a quick little analysis quick, but then I will pick first. Yeah, sure. Listen, uh, you know, I think about the um, uh, Lamar Jackson and that offense, right? You know, uh, last year they would face eight-man box, right? Sure. Um, uh, like, they, uh, all the time, right? Um, uh, um, they were literally number one in the league sure. facing an eight-man box yep. um, or 32nd in the league, sure. depending on however you want to look at it. Um, in this particular case, they're at 14, right? Those offensive weapons, right, forces the defense to not load up the box against the run. Um, Lamar Jackson looks so decisive in that game, um, making quick decisions, right? Um, and, you know, running the ball, I think he's going to do that again. I think he's going to have over 50, 60, 70 yards, right, on the ground. Um that defense is incredible, right? Uh, there's just an overall defense takeaway 
total sacks, um, points against. Led in all three. Um, they led, led in all, in all three. three. I think first that might be the first time in NFL history. In yeah. NFL history that yep. happens. Uh, the Kansas City sacks, Chiefs. Sacks, point totals, and turnovers. Yep. Right. Um, th- when the moment is biggest, they step up. They do. Right. So let's think about during the season, right? They lost uh, against the Eagles. Yep. Right. But if MVS makes the catch, completely changes sure. everything. Winnable game. Right. Winnable game. Yep. Uh, against the Buffalo Bills. Right. Uh, if Kadarius Tony isn't off sides, right? Kelsey makes a game, uh, uh, an epic play of sure. all time in NFL Arguably history, a game-winning touchdown, and win the game. Yep. Right. And so the Kansas City Chiefs have been there all year, and uh, and through blunder, right, through self uh, implosion, right, they've lost all of these games. Sure. However, in the biggest moment. They shut down the Dolphins, right? The hottest team. Now, granted, the weather had a little bit to do with that. Beat them up, though. Two, um, uh, the 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 Bills, yep. right? You know, everybody picked against them, right? Uh, shut down, not shut them down, but great game. Did what they were supposed to do. The defense shut down that offense in the second half. Um, so, will the Chiefs do the same thing and shut down the Ravens in the second half? Mm-hmm. Or is it the Ravens' time? Does Lamar Jackson take off and, and takes, you know, the th- and dethrones uh, Patrick Mahomes? Patrick Who do you Mahomes. think is winning the game? <sighs> okay. As much <laughs> as I've sat here and I've debated back and forth, <sighs> Lamar, I love you, man. I really do. I think you're a fantastic quarterback. I think the Baltimore Ravens sticking by you just showed that their belief in you as a person and as a player has really paid off. You deserve every bit of the MVP this year, and I love how far you've gotten your team. But I have to go with the devil that I know, and until I see somebody beat Kansas City in the biggest moment, I got to go with the Kansas City Chiefs winning an absolute thriller of a game Patrick Mahomes get the ball late and wins the game in a crucial drive. Listen, Sorry, I broke up your Super Bowl pick. And honestly, I'm not even mad if, it <laughs> end, if I end up being wrong. Because if Lamar made it to the Super Bowl, I would be just as happy. Yeah. Um, I have to just somewhat go against your pick. Because if you get that, it's like crazy that you called it from the beginning <laughs> of the season. So You know, listen, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm here to pick the Kansas City Chiefs. You know? um, and... But, what? but, not Bruh, there needs to be some kind of hot take noise no. right here. But I'm not going to do it. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. gosh. I'm not going to do okay. it. I am riding with B-more. Um, I talked about Michigan being a team of destiny. Yeah. Right? Uh, listen, I it, it, it pains me to pick against Patrick Mahomes because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. In my head, the Chiefs are going to win this game. I know. Right? I went. I went with a but head in over my, heart. But in my heart, my heart wants right? the Ravens. My, in my heart, heart wants it for Lamar. And based on this moment, I again we talk about right uh, setting up for success. Sure. I think the Ravens are going to step up and win this game uh, with the defense. So again, you went heart over head. I went head over heart.